big data is coming to play an increasingly important part of all aspects of our lives and it's being taken up very rapidly in the development field for research, for planning, for monitoring. However, evaluators have been much slower to take up um, big data. Um, they um, have a different way of thinking about how you measure progress than the big data people do. Um, they have some suspicions about the, um, the political, ethical implications of big data. And so this is the area where there's been much less progress. The big challenge is going to be over the next two to three years. Most um, programs are going to have an integrated data set which combines monitoring, um, research, evaluation and dissemination. And if the evaluators are not able to catch up with their understanding of big, de uh, big data and um, data analytics over the next couple of years, they're going to be finding that evaluation will be designed by people who are not evaluators, but perhaps who are data analysts or from a, a background with big data. So this is going to be a, a big challenge. There's tremendous opportunities. There are um, very many things you can do with big data for evaluation because of the speed at which you can collect data, the relatively low cost, the fact that you can collect data on much broader populations than is normally the case. So there are tremendous opportunities, but there is still a need to build bridges between the um, development um, evaluators and the big data scientists. So um, one of the things we'll be discussing is what are the ways to um, build bridges between these different ways of thinking about development.